temperature affects all chemical reactions, including photosynthesis. This concept is a key concept across the sciences. How can we investigate the effect of temperature on photosynthesis? The effect of temperature on photosynthesis may be investigated by counting bubbles from pondweed at different temperatures. In this investigation, the bubbles of oxygen released every minute can be counted as a measure of the rate of photosynthesis, with the temperature of the water being changed within the water bath. In this diagram, you can see the air bubbles released from the pondweed. These are bubbles of oxygen. Using a stopwatch, we can count how many of these are produced per minute. What type of graph can we expect to see from this investigation? Photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction, so increasing the temperature will increase the rate of photosynthesis. The temperature and photosynthesis rate will produce a graph that looks like this. It increases up to a certain point, around 40 degrees C, and then decreases. At high temperatures, the rate of photosynthesis decreases. This is because the enzymes within the plant will get denatured around this point. Why is it that there's no more photosynthesis when we get to this high temperature? Photosynthesis is controlled by enzymes. The diagram on the left shows a normal enzyme that is still complementary in shape to its substrate. High temperatures can make enzymes change shape or denature and stop working. When this happens, the enzyme becomes denatured and its shape is no longer complementary to the substrate, so the two can't fit together. For your exam, you don't need to know that photosynthesis is controlled by enzymes or that they become denatured, but knowing this might help you to understand the shape of the graph, as you do need to be able to interpret and explain graphs showing rate of photosynthesis and the limiting factor of temperature. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE biology course. See you there.